everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all today is another laid-back casual video I have a, an event that I have to go to later on today so I got up I washed my hair and everything and I was like I am not doing makeup twice <laughs> so we're barefaced, laid back, casual for a fun video. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my first ever Dirty Soul um, Soap Company order. I am super excited. I haven't smelled any of these, tested them, nothing. I wanted to do it on camera with you all. But before we get into the video, on my lips, I have on the e.l.f. Lip Oil in Pink Quartz. So you know this will be uh, tagged below if you're interested. So y'all, I heard about Dirty Soul Soap first from Miss Joanna. And I was intrigued, honey, because they have discontinued Bath and Body Works fragrance mist. And you all know the main one I wanted, okay? And when I saw that they had that one, I said, it's, it's, it's game on. I knew I was going to order from it, from them someday. So it's been a few months since I've seen uh, Miss Joanna's video, but other people have been popping up with orders. Um, they've gotten sit stuff for free. Now I pay for all this because I like to try a company first if I can, if they haven't offered before I decide to order. Um, I like to pay for it myself so I can see, you know, what I think about it without, you know, not talking about it at all. Cause that has happened with me with a few companies. Um, I'll be like, you know, it didn't work for me. And so I just don't talk about it at all. But this, I wanted to order myself and give my thoughts and opinions because if you are, an avid Bath and Body Works shopper, then you know that there are some fragrances that they just just refuse or maybe legally cannot bring back for some reason or another. And this would be a good option, you know, and I wanted to give my opinion on it on this company. So I'm going to save the two that I am like the most I can't wait to smell. I'm going to save them for last, okay? So I want to start with one where I kind of know what it's supposed to smell like. So I'm going to start with this fragrance mist. I ordered 12 fragrance mists and three lotions. If I had been thinking, I would have probably, not for sure, gotten a shower gel just to try. But I don't need any body washes, honey. I mean, so... I I, that's why I didn't get any. I don't need, you know, I don't need nothing. But I wanted to try um, this, these mist and these lotions because I don't have lotions. I made sure I didn't have any lotions like this in my collection, the ones that I ordered. The first mist we're going to smell is Pink Frosted Animal Crackers. And this has notes of sugary notes, buttery, vanilla, warm caramel, and pink frosting. So... This also says our versatile fragrance mist is perfect to use as a body mist or a room spray with a long lasting scent. You will want everything to smell amazing. So this is a 2.5 ounce bottle of, they come in 2.5 ounces and four ounces. Four ounces is the largest size and I think you can get tester sizes, but I just wanted to get the 2.5 ounce and then the full size of the ones I really, and one of them I'm looking at, I don't think I meant to get a full size of it, but I hope I love it. Okay, so pink frosted animal crackers. I have a perfume oil from Sugar Milk Company. And I have a philosophy shower gel. So I wanted to see, you know, how this mist would smell. Okay, I like the, the, the atomizer. So let's see. Okay, this does smell like animal crackers. Oh my goodness, it really 
does, you all. Takes me back to a memory of when I was a little girl and I would go with my dad. We'd go to the grocery store. And you know those, those animal crackers in the box with all the animals on top of it? on the box that's what it reminds me of so you had the plain ones and then you had the ones with the little the pink frosting and this does smell and it also it smells okay it smells gourmand it smells like that but it also doesn't smell just straight up edible and you all know that with gourmands i don't tend to just like smelling strictly like food i like a perfumey aspect to it and this does. It has like, it, it just doesn't smell straight up like a cookie. Oh, yeah, it does smell like it. Okay. Okay, first one, good. The packaging, um, I think the packaging is nice. I do. I'm not like in love with it, but you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of <sighs> Dawkins Aroma with their perfume mist they came out with. It kind of reminds me of that. So first one, Pink Frosted Animal Crackers is good. Okay, so let me see. What's another one that I know how it should smell? Well, yeah, let's just, let's just smell all the small ones first. So this is Angora Sweater, and this has notes of ambrette, milk, tuberose, incense, tonka bean, cocoa, vanilla bean, and musk. Now, y'all, I can't remember what this is supposed to be a dupe of. I should have checked beforehand, but let's just see. I think this one is supposed to be a dupe of something. Because they have some that's original, and then they have fragrances that's supposed to smell like other things. And I feel like this is supposed to smell like a perfume. Well, I'll tell you what it does smell like to me. Right, right when I smelled it, it reminded me of uh, Valentino Born in Roma, Donna Born in Roma. But I know I didn't get that because I have all of them. So I can't remember what it's supposed to be a dupe for. Okay, hold on, y'all. I have to know. Okay, y'all, I had to go and check and look. So if I'm not exactly in the same spot, you know, it is what it is. So, Angora Sweater is supposed to be a dupe of Blanche Bet, which is a niche perfume. So, I don't know about this one. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. I've never smelled Blanche Bet. That's why I wanted to get this fragrance mist. Based off of smelling it here, at first I thought it smelled like um, Valentino Donna Born in Roma. If you all have Blanche Bed, let me tell me if what I'm describing sounds like what it smells like, okay? But then after that, it it still has like an a little bit of that DNA, but it has like a cleanness to it, like. Think of Donna Born in Roma mixed with clean laundry freshness with a soft powderiness also thrown in there. Kind of sweet, kind of not. I don't know. Yeah, that's what it's giving me. So if you, like I said, if you have Blanche Bet in your collection, let me know if what I described, what I'm picking up from uh, Dirty Soul Soap and Gora Sweater, if it sounds similar at all. Cause this is one I'm gonna have to wear it. It smells interesting to me, but I just don't know if I am loving it. And I remember I was watching Vania's video, one of her videos, love her channel. And she had, gotten a sample of Blanche Bet and she was she was like me I don't know I don't know I can't remember exactly how she described it but the longer she smelled it the more she started liking it so I'm glad I got a fragrance mist to try it out instead of you know dropping a couple hundred dollars on a perfume which I'm not feeling right now 
Okay, so the next one we're going to try is Whipped Cream. And this is one of their originals. This has notes of butter, blonde sugar cane, and vanilla. And I was watching, oh my goodness. I can't remember her channel name. She has a cooking show, Kiki's Scent Lounge. I think that's the name of her channel. And she had ordered, I watched all her video, I think twice before making my decision on some ones I, I potentially wanted to add to my order because I already knew specific ones I wanted to try. And this is one I added after watching her. I think it's two in here I added. The next one we're gonna talk about, I added after watching her video because this is one she said was would be a good layering perfume or well, mist. And it is, if you just want, it smells like whipped cream, y'all. Very light, barely there semi-sweet creamy scent yeah it's one that if you if you're wearing something and you want it to soften it a little bit if you want to give it a touch of sweetness this is perfection kind of also gives me whipped cream but a little bit of like a dusting of powdery powdered sugar vibe also yeah this is good i'm glad i got this yay i'm glad i watched your video Okay, the next one, this is the other one that I decided to add after watching her video, and this is Sugar Milk. This has notes of milk, sugar, vanilla extract, and condensed milk. And y'all, I am oh, oh, super, super duper picky with lactonic fragrances because they can make me sick to my stomach. So, but she kind of said the sugar milk was like the whipped cream, a good one to add on, layer with. So I can't, I hope I like this, y'all, because I took a chance on this one. And you know how she described it, how Kiki described it? I think she described it as when you are, you know, when you're cooking like uh, icing. Your, the condensed milk you have to cook it turn it to caramel banana pudding that is what this is giving me just just an easy sweet dessert milkiness and i don't feel like this would irritate me or make me nauseous that smells good okay dirty soul okay i'm liking this so so far it's not any that i think smell bad so i need that to continue for the last two i'm saving okay that's all i got to say these last two that i just can't wait for i just hope it stays <laughs> okay this next one i is madagascar vanilla and this has notes of pear red apple clementine wild jasmine gardenia and wild madagascar vanilla so let me tell y'all why i decided to get this so it's two in here for about the same reason that I, I purchased this one. And I'll tell you the, that one when I get to it. I purchased this because y'all remember when this is based off of Bath and Body Works Fragrance Mist, Madagascar Vanilla. When it would come out, I did not like it because I was I had to grow into being liking vanilla. I never disliked vanilla, but vanilla as the main note that happened later on so when i was smelling it when it was out i did not like it so i was curious to see would i like it now because i do like vanilla now more so than i used to so we're about to see because i'll, I'll watch people's you know um collection videos and i'll see madagascar vanilla and i'll be kicking myself saying girl because i I remember I didn't, I never thought it smelled bad. I, I'm kind of, you know, I don't want to smell it yet. I don't remember it smelling bad, but it never made me want to spend my money on it. So let me see y'all. Let's see how Madagascar vanilla smells. See, I love this. Oh, Bath and Body Works. Come on now. This kind of reminds me of Nemat Vanilla Musk mixed with Nest. Oh, what is the vanilla oil from Nest? I can't remember because it's not my favorite. Vanilla Musk is my favorite from Nemat, but it's like those two blended together. 
Yeah, it's not like a fluffy, you know, cookie type of vanilla. It's more of a grown woman, perfumey type of vanilla. Soft, sensual vanilla. Okay, I'm liking this. I wish I took... I I got the 2.5 ounce because I was like, I don't know. I can't remember. I just remember I never wanted to spend my money on it. But y'all, all of the ones I got the 2.5 ounce mist in, except for Angora um, sweater, I feel like I'm going to want the full size in them. So maybe I should have just gone for the full size and all of them. But you know, I'm trying to save some money, trying to save some money. Okay, so the next one we're going to smell is vanilla lace this has fragrance notes of rich sweet layers of vanilla and warm fragrant musk okay just like i told y'all about madagascar vanilla with the, i remember vanilla lace in victoria's secret as a teenager i remember seeing the little perfumes they used to have of it i remember it all and i could not stand vanilla lace i i did not like vanilla lace but i love bare vanilla but so many people say that vanilla lace uh, is better than bare vanilla and that they wish that Victoria's Secret would bring vanilla lace back. So we're about to see, do I like vanilla lace now? Because I do remember I did not like it, y'all, when I was going to Victoria's Secret. I like the pear glace. Um... That's, it was one called Secret Crush. You know, those were the types I was loving. I never liked the vanilla lace. So, oh, I'm excited to see. Do, is it going to be like Madagascar Vanilla? Am I going to like it now? Or, or am I still going to be like, no. And then why did I get the full size of this? <laughs> but I didn't get the full size of Madagascar Vanilla. Okay. Okay, y'all. This to me. And I don't know if with these fragrance mists, you have to let you spray them out and then they'll get better. Probably so, because that's like the consensus with all fragrance. But I feel like this is lighter than Bare Vanilla. Like Bare Vanilla is very creamy. Sometimes to me can be a little thick. I know some people say they wear it all year round. I don't tend to wear the original Bare Vanilla all year round. To me, that for me, that would be either evening or um, fall, winter for me. Maybe early spring, but once it's hot, I don't feel like I would enjoy bare vanilla on my skin. But this vanilla lace is like lighter, perfumier. It, it reminds me of a light, airy, kind of powdery vanilla scent that you could wear year round and it wouldn't bother you if you're like me i'm loving this oh my goodness this smells so good so i can't i'm gonna be honest with you i cannot remember how vanilla lace smelled but i do remember not liking it but i was not and i, I didn't love vanilla as a teenager like i do now so I love vanilla lace. I love vanilla lace, y'all. This version smells super duper good to me. Year round type of pretty womanly vanilla scent. Absolutely love it. Okay, so this next one is the one I was like, I, why did I get a full size of this one? And this is Banana Taffy. This has notes of coconut, sweet banana, and a hint of vanilla. The only reason why I think I probably, I think I got this also after watching Kiki's video. But I also got it because I have that Hemp's Banana Lotion. And, ooh, I'm smelling this one from here, from, from shaking the top. And I got it to layer because the Hemp's Lotion, I mean, the Hemp's Mist that I got to go with it is not the matching banana. But it's, a, it's like a floral banana that I am not loving. I wanted a candy sweet banana. And this is a little heavier... A little thicker than I want. This is too real banana. Maybe it'll get, I want it Laffy Taffy candy with a hint of maybe perfumey vanilla in here. This is smelling more real banana to me. Like I'm getting like a real creamy, like smushed up whip type of banana 
and I want artificial candy banana. Yeah, it's something, this is, I'm not loving this. I'm not disliking it. Like I could wear it, make it work, but it's not, and they have quite a few banana scents on uh, Dirty Soul Soap. So, you know, I, I might look again because I thought I read it's so much to look at. I'll, I'll get to that at the end of the video. But I thought I had really looked to see, is this the one that's the most like candy? Maybe it's that coconut I'm not liking. I think it's the coconut, y'all. So at first when I smelled it, I told you I was getting like a smushed up real banana. Now I'm getting the sweet, you know, banana Laffy Taffy kind of scent I wanted but it's that coconut in there I don't like the coconut yeah because I'm smelling coconut first and then the banana candy sweetness I wanted the Laffy Taffy is like trying to come through but the coconut is not just letting it be the star it's like it's a coconut banana mix and I didn't want coconut yeah, that's what it is. That's what's throwing it off for me, that coconut no. So, it's not bad. It doesn't smell bad to me, but, you know, I, I'm not getting ready to place another order uh, anytime soon um, for Dirty Soul Soap since I just, you know, I just placed this one. So, I'm going to use this one, but I don't feel feel like this would be one I would repurchase. I would probably look at the other banana scents and see which one uh, fit exactly how I want it to smell. Cause this would be perfect if not for the coconut. And maybe that'll tone down, you know, this is a first impression. So hopefully it will. Okay, so the next one I'm super excited to smell. This is Rose Petals and Cake. This has fragrance notes of creamy vanilla cakes and pink rose petals. So y'all, this is based off of my favorite candle, Rose Petal and Tea Cake or something from Bath and Body Works. And I want it to smell exactly like the candle. I have one candle left. They, did, they haven't brought it back this spring. Hopefully they, I, ooh, I think, ooh, y'all, I'm getting excited. Yes, this smells like the candle. Okay, it's a little strong on the rose. I will say that. I, I want this to be like the candle to me is the perfect blend of creamy rose and creamy vanilla sweetness gourmand. It's the perfect floral gourmand candle. Oh my goodness, it is. And this one... This mist is too heavy on this rose. It smells like the candle to me, but it's not exactly what I wanted. No, it's, at first I was like, whoa, because I, but now it's just, it's very rose heavy. And I wanted the perfect blend like the candle is to me. So this is pretty, but I'm not loving it as much as I was hoping when I first smelled it because I'm not getting enough of the vanilla cake, the, the vanilla at all. It's very rose heavy. So this is one, again, maybe that'll change. This is my first time spraying them. Hopefully it will. Because like I said, it does remind me of the candle, but smelling it, when I kept smelling it, it's not exact. It's not exactly like the candle. And I, I keep hoping it'll, it'll, it'll be toned down some, that rose, but not yet. So this is pretty, but it's not exactly, it doesn't smell exactly like that candle to me, um, in my opinion. So this is one, if you want it, if you want a nice, sweet rose fragrance mist, this is pretty based on a first impression but if you were hoping for for it to smell like sweet petal pound cake is that whatever the candle is y'all from bath and body works this is this is not that right now if it get if it changes and gets better i would love that but right now it's just a pretty rose fragrance with a hint of vanilla coming through 
So the next fragrance I got, is, I'm excited to smell this one too. This is Sparkling Amber and Rose. This has notes of Sparkling Amber and Soft Rose notes. Y'all, this is based off of Downy. You know my favorite um, fabric softener and fragrance beads. That's what this is based off of. So let's see if it smells like my favorite Downy smell goods. I haven't tried them all. But out of the ones I've tried, that's still number one. So let's see. You know, it's very close. It's not exact, but it is very close. It kind of smells like the perfumey version, which it should. With some cleanness. They, they show got that laundry smell in there. Now I wanted more scent beads perfumey. That was kind of leaving. Hold on. Yeah, it still smells good. Okay, this is what I would say. If you like fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works, like fresh coconut and cotton, a white t-shirt, any kind of like laundry type of fragrance mist, but still have like a perfuminess to them. They're not straight, just soap, water, clean laundry. That's what this smells like. So it does fit what it's copying. It, it, but it doesn't smell exactly like the downy sparkly amber rose to me it's more heavy to me on the clean laundry aspect of it it's more on the undertone of the detergent like smell instead of focusing on the perfumey smell that you can get from the scent beads and things but it still smells good yeah it still smells good and i'm, I'm glad i got it and I will enjoy wearing this. And again, that is Sparkling Amber and Rose. Okay, y'all. I'm going to save the one that's, that's supposed to be a dupe for last. So we're going to talk about this. So I, of course, y'all, got the Sugared Marshmallow Mist and Lotion. Because I saw Marshmallow. And you know it's hard to find marshmallow fragrances. So I had to get this. So this has fragrance notes of freshly made marshmallows with vanilla and sugar. Okay. Let's see, y'all. These supposed to smell just like, you know, the Jet Puff marshmallows. That's the packaging on here. So let's see. Yes. Yes. This does smell like marshmallows to me. Um... very light very air to me this is more dust marshmallow dust I, uh, which i guess that's marshmallow marshmallows if you don't have like the jet puff which i thought this might smell like the creamier one but it's like a mixture between opening up a bag of marshmallows and then opening up the the cream marshmallow i really like this i feel like this is going to get better the more you spray it Yeah, I like this. I do like this a lot. Yay. So let's try the lotion. Well, let's smell it. Mm. Ooh, the lotion smells a little sweeter, like creamier. So I'm hoping the mist will get that too, just a little creamier um, the more I spray it. So I'm liking this set, okay. So the last one, y'all. If you've been watching me at all for any amount of time, and I bring up fragrance mist that I wish Bath and Body Works would bring back, it's always two that come to mind immediately. And this one is number one, and it is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. And this fragrance mist, Marshmallow Clouds, is supposed to be a dupe of that. So this has fragrance notes of sweet vanilla, marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and white magnolia blossoms. Y'all, it has been a minute since I have smelled Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Now, I'm just gonna tell you what I remember before we smell this. I remember thinking, because I only had the lotion, every time I mentioned this story, I, I could see myself going into Bath and Body Works. This is before I started this channel. This is before I was watching all these videos. I was more into makeup videos. And it would, it, 
I remember seeing a few of those fragrance smiths and didn't get it. Grab the lotion for some reason. I don't even remember. And maybe I didn't see the mist. Maybe I'm, but I feel like I saw a few of them. And got the lotion, put that lotion on, and then started watching videos about, um, was that the time I had started watching more body care videos? It had to have been. And so I was watching videos and people were like, this is the best, this is the best. So I went back the next day, gone everywhere. All the stores in my area, they, it was all gone. But what I can remember is the prettiest, creamiest, fluffiest, marshmallowiest vanilla. It's not just, it wasn't just straight marshmallow. It was the perfect marshmallow vanilla blend to me. So let's see. And marshmallow clouds will take me back to boardwalk marshmallow clouds. It smells like it, you all. Again, just like with the, what is this called? Sugared marshmallows. I feel like marshmallow clouds will get better the more I spray it. But yeah, it's that creamy. Now, I'm not gonna say it's exact because it's been so many years since I have used up that body cream and I never had the fragrance mist. And you all know, just from me smelling this lotion with, in comparison to the mist, this lotion is a little sweeter, creamier. Usually the body creams, sometimes, you know, they smell a little sweeter than the fragrance mist. But I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. And y'all, I had so much faith in Dirty Soul Soul Company. I bought two of these bad boys. Because I was like, I don't know when I'm going to do another order immediate. You know, when I'm going to do another order. So I got two fragrance mints and the lotion, honey. Yes. So I am happy, honey. I don't have to be begging bath and body rose. I still want to bring it back. That was a beautiful packaging. I, I want the exact same packaging and everything. I still want to bring it back, but now I don't feel like desperation. Mm, this lotion, I feel like I like the, the sugared marshmallows lotion more so than this one. But again, I haven't used the lotion. I haven't, you know, put it on my skin or anything. I'm just going off of scent alone. And for scent alone, right now, I'm liking the way sugared marshmallows smell more than the marshmallow clouds. But with the fragrance mist, I'm liking the way marshmallow clouds smells a little bit more than sugared marshmallows. So, but still, I got me two marshmallow fragrances, honey, and lotions, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. So the last lotion I purchased was bubble gum. So I got this, and this has notes of fruity, bright, sweet bubble gum. Is that it? Okay. So I got this to go with Bath and Body Works Bubblegum Pop because that was the collection where they, they brought out a shower gel and a, a fragrance mist and no lotion. And the body cream I usually use with Bubblegum Pop is the Taraji P. Henson, um, it's the vanilla and tuberose scent. I can't remember the name of it right now. But I plan to use that with something else, and I'm probably going to use it up. So I said, let me go ahead and get this because that body cream was more soft, womanly, perfuming. It paired well with bubblegum pop, but if you're just going for straight, fun, candy, uncomplicated, bubblegum, you know, summertime vibes, then I figured let's get this lotion and see what it, see how it smells. Oh my, y'all, this smells exactly like bubblegum pop from Bath and Body Works. Yes! I mean, exactly. So if you have bubblegum pop from Bath and Body Works, if you have that, that uh, Machino bubblegum perfume, that hot pink bear perfume, if you have uh, Mancera's vanilla perfume, the one that smells like bubblegum and vanilla, if you have that, perfume any of those this lotion is perfection the scent I, I don't know how it feels on the skin and all of that i will update you all once i use them but the scent is spot on perfection okay and these lotions are eight ounces so let me give you my overall 
opinion my first time ordering from dirty soul soap company i'm not really disappointed even though it's two fragrance mist um the angora sweater and the banana taffy these are the ones i'm not sure of exactly but i'm still not disappointed because they don't smell to where i just like the smell and when we're not at all do i feel like this is a good alternative fragrance uh, mist if you are okay i'm going to be honest if bath and body works has it in stock if victoria's secret has it in stock i'm going to i'm going to purchase it from them over dirty soul soap company because you get eight ounces as opposed to four ounces in the full size that's that's reason number one reason number two it's more convenient it's easier to get i don't have to wait as long so i because so they have some fragrance mists i think that are still in stock but then they have a quite of a, a plethora of different fragrances fragrance mist based off of perfumes and different fragrance mist from bath and body works and victoria's secret and probably others also so i would say is this a good alternative for discontinued fragrance mist that you have been loving like come on dirty soul soap give me some twinkling nights it, it, it the, the rose are gone line you know is it a good place to go and look for to see if they have what you can't find anymore and you don't want to pay an upcharge because the full size of this i believe is 14 dollars, and i got all this when there was a sale going on and then this the these were i want to say maybe nine dollars not on sale I, I can't remember for sure you all but it is a good alternative as a fragrance mist, even the ones that aren't based off of Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works, they smell good. I feel like they're going to perform well. That's what I've heard from other people who's, who've actually had a chance to wear them, that they do perform well. So I know they, they do uh, Sol de Janeiro too. So they are more affordable than Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, even if you're getting less product. But keep that in mind, you're getting four ounces less for the full size. Um, so de Janeiro, you know, they're expensive, $24 for three ounces, $38 for eight ounces, and then you can get four ounces for $14 if you wanted to dupe a Sol de Janeiro miss. So it's a good place to shop if you want to find discontinued items, to find fragrance mist, that are dupes of more expensive products and also for their own like if you are fragrance mist lover dirty soul soap company you you're gonna enjoy it because it has over 345 mist i believe on the website now when i was looking up to see what angora sweater was supposed to be a dupe of so if you love fragrance mist, that is fragrance mist heaven. It can be a little overwhelming uh, looking at all of them, but it's a good time, especially if you love fragrance and layering and fragrance mist. It's a good company. Based off of the way the lotion smell, I believe um, that they're probably going to perform well because it says made with shea butter. And sometimes with these um, small companies, sometimes the, the lotions and things they cannot they don't smell like they smell like the ingredients more than the fragrance and i don't feel like i'm having that issue with any of these lotions so i think they're going to perform quite well so i mean will i order again from dirty soul soap company yes i guess i definitely will but let me tell you this is the drawback when ordering with some small small run businesses it took over three weeks for me to get these items and i reached out to them because you know i was reading on i think some page when you google them it says 10 days or something but they said they were behind and the lotions and they had to you know make the lotion so just with small businesses some of them 
Because Sugar Milk Co., I don't have that problem. Dolphin's Aroma, I don't have that problem. But that doggone Kama Sutra Oil and whatever brand that is, I can't think of the name. I can't, but it's the Kama Sutra Oil, the Cookie Butter Oil, Skin Potion. They took about a month, or was it even more? So they took a long time too. So that's the just the drawback to these, uh, because I, you know, and this is me. I was just wondering. I was like, these these people who say they getting sent this stuff. It seems like, but I don't know how long it took them to, to get it sent to them. Okay. So I was like, it seems like they're getting their stuff, and I placed my order. You know, February sixteenth, and. No, it took over a month. Yeah, it took over a month. I had to think. It took over a month because I either ordered these February 16th or 19th and they just came. They were delivered Friday, March. What was Friday? 22nd. So these, this took over a month for me to get this order. So that that is the reason why I decided to go ahead and order two marshmallow clouds when I placed the order because I, I don't like that. And I know that's just part of it with small run businesses, but I, I, don't, I don't like to order and wait a month or sometimes more than a month for my order. So I know I'm gonna order again because these are all smelling really good. I do enjoy fragrance smiths but it's it's nothing that i feel like i'm going to rush back in order for from dirty soul soap right now because i believe i'm quite content because i went through all of them y'all and i told you i watched multiple videos especially kiki's video i watched hers probably two or three times so i'm happy with it i'm happy i i i like i the shower gel, another reason why I didn't get a shower gel, because I do have like a Philosophy Marshmallow body wash. So that's another reason. So when I order again, I might get a shower gel of some scent so I can try out all the products for you all. But as of right now, I'm happy. Um, this on sale, all these items, 12 13 14 i think i got 15 items this was this is including tax and everything i can't remember if i got free shipping but this was almost 160 dollars so i mean bad the body works where their prices are going and victoria's secret if you don't get a sale it's no way you could get all of this for 160 dollars um so I think it's reasonably priced. I do wish, and this is just me, I do wish that these were eight ounces. But I have heard from other people who've actually worn them on their skin day to day, layering them up, that they last a long time, that they last and perform better than Bath and Body Works Fragrance Smith. So maybe four ounces will not leave as quickly as you know I would imagine if you don't have to spray as much and as often to keep the scent going so I'm happy with my order and like I said I will be placing another order you all know I, I have a, a list of small owned businesses that I wanted to try and this was the last one except for um, those body butter I can't remember the name of them, but they're like TikTok and everybody's loving them. But I just don't want any body butters right now. Uh, I think I'm going to wait on those. So that will be my next order. And then I will have completed, and unless something else pops up <laughs> that catches my eye, I think I will have completed my list. But this was completing it before I added that one on. So I've tried them all and um, it's only a few i've ordered from twice i've ordered from sugar milk co twice i've ordered from dawkins aroma i think more than twice and skin potion was one order um asia cosmetics was one order i can't remember the fifth one was this the fifth one i think so and i am gonna play uh place another order to this company for sure oh brown sugar babe brown sugar babe i've ordered from them multiple times and y'all even though i kept telling this is a little <laughs> i'm just rambling but even though i told y'all 
oh I'm, I'm trying to use up all the oils I'm down of my because I ordered 12 of the one ounce oils I think I want to place it's one oil I just fell completely and totally in love with and I'm almost out of it and I, I just want it back in my collection so I think I am gonna place another order I've ordered from them more than once too I think two or three times too so dog is aroma brown sugar babe I've ordered from them I think I know over two or more times and then I plan to do another dirty soul um, soap company oil you know in the future too because I do really like if you're talking about variety honey over 300 fragrance smiths with matching lotions and so you have that is just body care heaven to get on there and look and just see what you're interested in but th this what I chose is what I wanted for my collection at this time but like I said honey I know I know I'm gonna be placing another order from uh, Dirty Soul Soap. Unless, you know, if they wanna send me something, like they've been sending these other people, I would more than, <laughs> I'd be more than happy for you all to send me something and I can review, um, review it for you again. <laughs> but this is my first order, I'm happy with it. The only con I have is how long it takes. It, it, it that's, that's the only thing it took over a month for me to get these now if I didn't have the lotions I don't think it would have taken that long because they told me that they were making the lotion so keep that in mind if you're ordering more than the fragrance mist and I do believe they said if you order like the little testers that those take longer too to ship so your sweet spot is at least starting at the 2.5 ounces and the fragrance mist. I do not know about the body washes because I've never ordered them, but just know if you order the lotions, it's probably gonna take longer also. So that's the only con. That's the only con that I really have, but that's part of it. It's not just exclusive to Dirty Soul Soap Company. It's, you know, that can happen with other small businesses. So I'm not going to say that is a knock against them at all because the products, they're packaged well, they're, they're aesthetically pleasing, and I'm happy with them. So if you all enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me, have you ever ordered from Dirty Soul Soap Company? And if you have, tell me your favorite fragrances that I need to check out for my next order. And please share this video with everyone, you all, because, you know, we are still trying to keep it growing in 2024. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye